Yo, yo, it's your boy Mike, your boy Mr. Chow here, coming back at you with another video for this morning. Um, I just got to the Connecticut Valley Hospital Cemetery, and just from what I can see, it's very different. A lot of miniature headstones with just numbers on them, no names, nothing else engraved but numbers. Very different, very strange actually to look at and witness firsthand. Um, but in any case, I'm here right now, so I'm going to see if I can catch any paranormal phenomena on camera and so on and so forth. Might do another EVP session here, like I did at the other two cemeteries I just went to this morning. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do my EMF meter and all that good stuff. So let's get it, as I always say. So as you can see, those miniature headstones are over there. So part of the cemetery is on this side of the road, this gravel dirt road type thing. And then we got the main part of the cemetery, which is over here. And look at these headstones, guys. Really creepy, actually, to look at. Not gonna lie. And this cemetery is supposed to be very haunted as well. No doubt about that. So let's see what we can capture, if anything. Just a completely massive graveyard. For real. And just throwing it out there, I'm pretty sure that these graves are for those who had passed away at the Connecticut Valley Hospital, those who were patients at one point in time, back when the hospital was a main mental hospital. So yeah. No names, just numbers. Very different, like I said. Alright, so it's about time I break out my EMF meter, turn it on. See what we can capture. Let's see what we got here. If there's any spirits here, can you make my device light up? Don't be shy. Come in peace. Can you make my device light up? Oh, there we go. Thank you. All right, I just turned it off for a second. I'm just going to take in the vibes. I'm going to head back towards the back end of the cemetery. And then I'll turn my uh, EMF meter on again. And I'll probably do a, not a spirit box session, but an EVP session over there as well. All right, so I'm about to turn my EMF meter back on. Let's see what we get. Can you make my device light up if there's any spirit present with me? Oh, I just shut it off by accident. Hold on. Can you make my device light up if there's any spirit present with me? Don't be shy. Wow, thank you. It's spiking a little bit, guys. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm really shaky holding this thing for some reason. I don't know if it's the vibes or what, but I'm going to put it down for a second. That's really weird. And wow, look at that. It just stopped blinking, too. 
it's like whatever heard me say that I was shaking didn't want me to feel that way anymore, so it stopped it from blinking. That's a little different. It's a little strange. Can you make my device light up? Yeah, just like that, thank you. Can you make my device light up to at least yellow? Oh, there we go. I got a bite. Thank you. I just got cold out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but my camera's having problems focusing. I don't know if it's something supernatural or what, but it's really weird because it never has that issue. And look, the device, there we go again. Look at it, it spiked. Thank you. And now it stopped. Let's walk this way a little bit more. Can you keep making my device light up? Just like that. Thank you so much. That's confirmation right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm going to turn off and put away my EMF meter right now. I'm about to do an EVP session, so I'll include the playback of the audio recording in this video footage when I post the video. So yeah, let's get it. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm here at the Connecticut Valley Hospital Cemetery. I mean no harm and no disrespect throughout this EVP session. So let's jump right into it. Are there any spirits here that can communicate with me? Yes or no? You can speak into my device, yes or no? How old are you? Or how old were you when you passed away? 94. What's your name? Frank. Do you mind that I'm here with you in this cemetery? In your cemetery, your final resting place? Yes or no? No. How long have you been passed away for? Or deceased for? With all due respect. A while. My last question is, do you want me to leave or stay? All right, this concludes this EVP session. I'm going my separate ways. Thank you, and goodbye. I can't get over how massive this graveyard is. It's very impressive in size. For real. It's just huge. I'm not even kidding. I just saw like a white shadow figure move over there. Not a black shadow figure, like a white apparition move between the gravestones or the headstones. I'm not playing with you. I swear on everything. I'm not playing. I literally, it looked like a woman with a white wedding gown on. I'm not playing. That blew my mind. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was intense. It was so distinct too. I could clearly make it out. And then as soon as I saw it, it was gone. It just disappeared right in front of my own eyes. It like vanished in thin air. Wow. Oh my, I just got a cold spot. Oh my gosh. That's really weird. Again. Right after I acknowledged what I saw, I got freezing. And it's fairly warm outside right now overall.
I don't know. Chuck. I saw the white apparition over here, so I'm gonna head over there right now, real quick, real briefly. And I'm gonna break out my EMF meter one more time before I head to the car and head out of here. Let's see what we can get. Can you make my device light up if you're here with me? If, if the apparition is here with me that I saw, please make my device light up now. Please, and thank you. There we go, it's spiking. Oh my gosh, yo. That's crazy. Can you make my device stop lighting up? And it just stopped. Oh my, I can't take this anymore. That's way too much for me. It, it's very intelligent. It listened to my command, if you will. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put my EMF meter away because I just got a really heavy feeling. Oh my gosh. All right, with all that that just happened, I think this is my cue to leave. Um, and that's word on everything. I had enough just happen to me out of nowhere to the point where I'm going to leave. It was really intense. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you. But in any case, um, out of all three cemeteries I went to this morning, this place definitely is going to leave the biggest, not scar, but the biggest um, recognition or the biggest aftermath of my investigation just because of the apparition that I saw as far as the cold spot I instantly felt after giving recognition to the apparition and just the overall sense and feelings I've got and the vibes I've got in this cemetery definitely probably the home the most haunted cemetery I've been to this morning when all is said and done I'm getting ahead of myself I'm starting to speak too quickly but it's all good slow it down when all is said and done, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you've been to this cemetery before. Or, or any other haunted cemetery for that matter. And uh, yeah, your experience there and so on and so forth. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button for more content coming out in the near future, ladies and gentlemen. As always, though, until next time. Whew, cheers and ciao. Peace. Be easy, y'all. Catch you on the flip side.